Hey, it's all with a quick add-on video for 725. I'm just going to go over six add-ons that I had recently installed. Uh, some of them are new, some of them are old, uh, but I want to showcase this for you. And if you guys are interested, I'm going to provide links below. Uh, and if you like them, cool, go ahead and try them out. And if you don't, well, say so and <laughs> and let me know. Uh, the first add-on that, uh, that you might notice is this little star looking thing that you see on screen. Um, well, heck, you actually happen to also see weak auras there, but let me talk about this little star thing first. Uh, this one is called Star Cursor. Uh, this particular add-on gives me the ability to well, much more easily see my cursor on screen. There wasn't there was an add-on that I used previously uh, that uh, that let me heck it let me have quite a few options as to how I'd be able to um, display this uh, uh, display my little mouse icon thing. Uh, but for whatever reason that I that particular add-on just stopped getting support. We weren't really seeing any updates on it. Uh, but th and this particular add-on is very very simple. There's there's really no customization to it all. It's just, uh, you know, you see the star, the faster you move the mouse, the more you'll be able to see it. And uh, and, if you, and as you can see, uh, if I make much smaller movements, it, it just doesn't have a whole lot of prominence to it, which I which I do kind of like. It, sh it shows a little bit as to like, hey, this is, you know, if, if I'm trying to jiggle it around being like, oh my God, where's my mouse? Uh, you know, I'm able to see it much easier. Um, now, of course, I can't hide this on stream. This means that everyone's going to see where I'm clicking and, and, all, and all sorts of different stuff like that, but that's not really a big deal. The second add-on that you kind of already saw was Weak Auras, and I'm using a particular module that I had downloaded, and again, I'm going to provide a link as to where I get this stuff, uh, but it's a pretty darn good and, and pretty darn good setup that I have right here. Uh, this is an old add-on that I have right here, Pitbull, and I featured that in a previous video, but, uh, but I'm more talking about... Uh, sorry, let me get back in the combat here. Uh, but I'm talking about uh, this module right up here, which lets me look at all my different cooldowns, as well as things like like my Seraphim, my Avenging Wrath, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it has a really nice and compact feel to it, unlike before, where it, you know things were a little bit clunkier looking. Um, Pitbull now, I just use it only for the target that I'm looking at, as well as my target of target, which is still uh, right over here, as, I, as I'm trying to highlight with my mouse. Uh, so it's not bad. This thing, this thing does does do uh, does do the job for me. And this guy took me out of combat. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the next add-on that I'm going to showcase, I'm going to at least uh, try to get into combat a little bit more here. Uh, you guys might have noticed. Uh, you guys see damage numbers on top of the screen again. Uh, this is called this is called a uh, nameplate scrolling combat text. This add-on lets me literally just have scrolling combat text, but it only shows up above the enemy's nameplates. So if I happen to not have nameplates uh, shown, I'm not going to see it, which is kind of neat. But more importantly, it does show up. Uh, this is this is an add-on that's made by the same person that makes Dynamic Cam, another add-on that I happen to be using right now. But uh, uh, again, I have that showcased in a different video. Uh, but I like this one. Normally, I'm not a big fan of showing damage numbers on screen because I think it's a bit too intrusive. It kind of gets in the way of things. And, but in in this case, uh, there isn't a whole lot of intrusiveness to it. The numbers are pretty subtle. They're not very they're not very big or in your face. And even more importantly, they're in proximity to what my actual target is. They don't just pop up in some arbitrary looking place like like how like how some people would have it set with uh, mixed goal and combat text, which is an add-on that I've used a little bit as well. And I've, and I've since turned it off because I was like, ah, you know, what? I'm tired of seeing that stuff. But now it's well, now in my opinion, it's a heck of a lot better. Uh, the next add-on to show you is is an oldie but a goodie. This is Atlas Loot, and this is something that I that, that I've come to like uh, using more and more as I've gotten kind of tired of using uh, what is it called? Not the collections add-on, but the adventure guide. I mean, sure, the adventure guide does a pretty good job of showing me. Um, uh, like like the different boss loot, like hey, here's some Sargeras, here's Groth, and I have to set like these filters and um, and everything so I can look at the loot. It, it, it it's a little bit clunky. It's a little bit it's a little bit messy. And I do like the fact that I can see all the loot here on screen, but it still lets me do all the editing that I want. All I have to do is right click here to change my spec to whatever relevant spec that I want to take a look at, and you can see the highlighted stuff. This will let me see all the important things uh, that are going to drop. 
So I'm over here in Dalaran, and more specifically to Nomi's house, you know, he's my favorite NPC in all of Legion, not, uh, to show you another add-on called Nomi Cakes. This is for folks such as myself who still have yet to complete all the different recipe upgrades that Nomi offers. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is, you know, once you get this thing installed, you can take a look at, at certain recipes, at, at certain food, as long as you have them in your bags. And as you highlight over them, you can see the potential recipes that you unlock from them. So for example, uh, turning in Cursed Queenfish will give me a chance to earn uh, the Fighter Chow recipe rank 3. It's a pretty easy way to see, hey, this is what I can still learn, and more importantly, what I shouldn't be feeding Nomi, because I've learned everything that there is to learn from him. The last add-on to show you is a little bit complicated to use, but in my opinion, it has a whole lot of potential. This is called Addy Bags. This is a new bag add-on that has more or less replaced Bagnon for me, but I'm still kind of trying to work the kinks out. This is a certain kind of bag add-on that lets you... that. I'm sorry, it sorts everything out for you automatically. There are different modules for it, and in this case, I downloaded the Legion module, and that's what lets me see certain uh, certain things like, well, I can see here I have artifact power, I have broken shore stuff. It categorizes a whole bunch of stuff the way that you want it to. And one of the really cool features that unfortunately I don't have a lot of artifact power here to show you is that it'll actually stack artifact power that is of the same type. So here we can see that I have one brief history of the Aeons, but if I happen to have multiple, it'll just show up as a single uh, as a single item. So I can just click that and very quickly go through whatever artifact power that I have. So in my opinion, it's super useful, but again, it's a little bit buggy. Um, and, and at least out the box, there are, I wouldn't say that there are problems with it but there are some um you know, some visual flubs with it so for example this currency uh module plugin that i have right here it, it it does let me see the gold but if i turn it on it'll let me see pretty much every currency that i have and, I, and of course i can configure it to show whatever it is that i want to but at least out the box um you know by default this thing is on so it kind of it, it's definitely a little bit more overwhelming than it should be so let me go ahead and turn this thing back off again and then we're back to the gold but hey funny enough my my bags are are, are looking a little bit different so you know let me close that and i'll open it up again so now it's back to uh, something a little bit more familiar so again this thing is a little bit buggy but i do advise hey you know what check it out check out all these add-ons see if you like them and if you don't and if you think if you think they're total bullshit let me know in a comment below and well i'll try to vet through the kinds of add-ons that i use a little bit better so that's pretty much it for me. Those are the these those are the uh, couple of add-ons that I want to show you, folks. Four seven two five that I'm trying out, and I encourage you all to try too. Uh, please leave a comment below, and of course like and sub if you want to see me keep doing what I'm doing because I do love it. So, you guys have a good one. I'll see you around in the next video, and stay breezy.